vibration, my favorite topic. Hi everybody, this is Ruth Ratliff, voice and vibrational sound professional, and we've all heard the term vibration and frequency, but what exactly do these concepts have to do with health and wellness? And why is this important for you to know about, especially now? So let's take a look at some of the basics of vibration and frequency, how they may influence your health and your well-being, and share some tips on keeping those vibes high to support yourself. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the importance of knowing this information now. Because of the current situation with the pandemic, so many of us still feel isolated and alone, insecure and afraid. Your trust has been shaken in the world and people just don't feel safe anymore. Sometimes that's not a bad place to be because it makes you question things and it can shift you in positive ways but it comes with a bit of a cost. It creates a lot of stress and anxiety for some people. So I wanted to share with you some very simple and accessible ways that you can start to take back your own power. You can feel more empowered to be able to cultivate your own life force energy, to feel more grounded, calm, and centered, to start to get your life back. You may have heard the concept that all things are constantly in motion and are vibrating. Even objects that appear to be solid are still vibrating at various frequencies. Everything in our existence is part of an interconnected matrix of electromagnetic vibrational frequencies, including you. All things, living and non-living, have an energy field that has its own vibrational frequency, which is measured in a unit of hertz. For instance, something that has a measure of one hertz means it vibrates one time per second. Middle C on the piano is 261.6 hertz. That means it vibrates 261.6 times per second. So guess what? You have a frequency as well. The average human body vibrates between 62 and 72 hertz. How do we know this? That's because in 1992, Bruce Tenio, who was head of the Department of Agriculture at Washington University, developed a monitor that originally was developed to study the frequency of food, but also has been used to measure the frequencies of the human body. And John Hopkins University also used this device to study frequency in relationship to diseases as well. Now we're getting to the good part. They determined that disease starts when the frequency drops to 58 hertz or below. When the frequency drops because of physiological, emotional, or environmental factors, the immune system becomes weak, so the lower frequency creates a much more attractive environment for the pathogens. So, didn't I just say that the human body vibrates between 62 and 72 hertz, which is a higher vibration than most pathogens vibrate at? So, here's the bottom line of this video. If you can literally keep your vibration higher than the 58 hertz, it will be able to cultivate a much less attractive environment for the viruses, bacteria and the diseases. So to take it a step further, remember everything is vibration. So everything you come in contact with, eat, put on your body, listen to, think, each of these things have their own frequency that affects your energy field. So I'd like to show you three things that I've been doing to keep my vibration high. Almost every morning, I take my morning coffee and my little dog outside to stand in the wet grass with bare feet. This is called grounding or earthing, 
and is a therapeutic technique that electrically reconnects you to the earth. Emerging scientific research has revealed that direct physical contact with the surface of the earth supplies our bodies with a flow of electrons. These free electrons or ions from the earth's surface spread over and into the body where they can have very, very deep antioxidant effects. And why bare feet? That's because most shoes now are made out of plastic or rubber, which are not good conductors of electricity. The National Center for Biotechnology Information says that this reconnection with the Earth's electrons has been found to promote intriguing physiological changes and subjective reports of well-being. Another thing I do is I thump or tap my thymus gland, which is located just below the breastbone. This stimulates your immune system, giving it a little boost. The word thymus comes from the Greek word thymos, which means life energy. When life is out of sorts and daily stress rises, like it has been for so many of us these past few months, our thymus gland can become depleted of this vital life force energy. When you thump your thymus, this can help keep your own life energy pumping and vibrating at a high frequency. It can also help to release fear or anxiety. So take a tip from Tarzan. Ah! And you can also work on your feelings of self-consciousness as well doing these exercises. And my personal favorite, vocal toning or singing in the shower. This can assist the body in releasing pent-up tension, stress, and pain. And vocal toning is one of the easiest and natural forms of sound therapy. The powerful internal vibrations that are generated by your voice stimulate your body's natural healing abilities. Your voice is the ultimate healing instrument the most effective carrier of frequency to your body. Your brain and your body are hardwired to resonate with your voice. The vibrations of your own voice can elicit not only a physiological response, but a profound and deep emotional one as well. And more on this in my next video. So of course, there are many other ways to enhance your vibration, like deep breathing, meditation, and exercise. So whatever you decide to do, see if you can incorporate them into a daily routine because our bodies respond best with a consistent practice. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you'd like to share in the comment section below some ways that you have found that make you feel good, keeps your vibes high, I'd love to hear them. And as always, if you'd like to like this video or subscribe or please share it if you think someone else could benefit from this information. And please feel free to go over my website, ruthratliff.com, for more information on how to book a free 30-minute discovery session with me, and also to stay up to date on my current offerings and events. Until next time, healthy body, healthy spirit, healthy voice.